we know the derivative of hyperbolic function now we are going to learn the derivative of inverse hyperbolic function you know the hyperbolic function means sin hx cos hx tan hx similarly sec hx cosec hx sin cot hx are the hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic means you have to find the derivative of sin h inverse x cos h inverse x tan h inverse x and so on so first we find the derivative of sin h inverse x if y is equal to sin h inverse x then find dy by dx means you have to find derivative of d dx of sin h inverse x solution what is you have y is equal to sin h inverse x so this can be written as <coughs> x is equal to sin h y differentiate this with respect to y differentiating suppose this is 1 equation 1 and differentiating 1 with respect to y we get you are going to differentiate this with respect to y therefore dx by dy is equal to derivative of sin hy with respect to y means cos hy but you have to find derivative of y with respect to x means derivative of sin h inverse x with respect to x so for this we take the reciprocal of this taking reciprocal on both sides you get dy by dx is equal to 1 upon cos hy <coughs> and you know the result since we know that cos h inverse you know that cos h inverse x minus sin h inverse x is equal to 1 here variable is y cos h inverse uh, cos h square y minus sin h square y is equal to 1 you need cos h y so therefore this can be written as cos h square y is equal to 1 plus sin h square y so taking square root on both sides you get cos h y is equal to plus minus root 1 plus sin h square y what what is sin h y from 1 sin h y is x therefore this is equal to plus minus root 1 sin h y is x 1 plus x square so this is the value of cos h y suppose number 3 using 3 into we get using 3 into we get so your two means dy by dx is equal to 1 upon now you remember that sine of radical is the same of the sine of cos h y therefore you take the plus sign therefore 1 upon cos h y cos h y means plus minus this you take the plus sign 1 upon root 1 plus x square but what is y y is the sin h inverse x therefore dbx of sin h inverse x is equal to 1 upon root 1 plus x square so this is the derivative of sin h inverse x in same way we find the derivative of cos h inverse x next 
इफ वाई इज इक्वल टू कॉस एच इनवर्स एक्स कॉस एच इनवर्स एक्स देन फाइंड डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सोल्यूशन अगेन सेम मेथड लेट वाई इज इक्वल टू कॉस एच इनवर्स एच सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस एच वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस एच वाई देन डिफरेंशिएट इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वन डिफरेंशिएट इन वन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वन we get so x is equal to cos y so i differentiating this means you get dx by dy is equal to derivative of cos hy is sin hy sin hy already we have seen the derivative of cos hy is sin hy and each trigonometric function derivative of cos hy is Minus sin h y. You remember the difference is d x by d y is equal to sin h y. But you need d y by d x. Therefore, taking reciprocal on both sides, we get d y by d x is equal to one upon sin h y. But we know that. Cos h square y minus sin h square y is equal to one. You need here sin h y. Therefore, cos h square y minus one is equal to sin h square y. Therefore, taking reciprocal on both sides, the square root of sin h square y is sin h y. Sin Yes, y is equal to plus minus root cos y square y minus one. But from one cos y y is x, and you remember that sine of radical is same as the sine of sine y y. Therefore, you take the positive sign here. Therefore, sine y y is equal to plus Cos x y is x, so you get x square minus one. Number three. Then dividing three into, we get the derivative of cos x inverse x. Using three into we get two means dy by dx. One upon sine h y. One upon sine h y means root x square minus one. But what is y? Y is the cos h inverse x. Therefore, d d x r cos h inverse e x is equal to one upon root x square minus one. So we have seen. The derivative of sine h inverse x, cos h inverse x. Then next we see the derivative of tan h inverse x. If y is equal to tan h inverse x, then find dy by dx solution let y is equal to tan h inverse x this can be written as x is equal to tan h y number 1 then you differentiate on both sides with respect to y therefore dx by dy is equal to 
डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टेन एच वाई सेक्वायर वाई सेक्वायर वाई यूनिट डीवाई बाई डी एक्स देन यू टेक द रिशिप्रोकल ऑन बोथ साइड टेकिंग रिशिप्रोकल ऑन बोथ साइड यू गेट डीवाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन सेक एच स्क्वायर वाई नंबर टू बट वी नो ट्रेगनोमेट्री वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू सेक्स स्क्वायर थीटा एंड इन हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा इज नॉट सेक्स स्क्वायर थीटा वन माइनस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू सेक्स स्क्वायर थीटा देर फॉर वन माइनस टेन एस स्क्वायर वाई इज इक्वल टू सेक एस स्क्वायर वाई वॉट इज टेन एस वाई tan h y is x therefore this implies 1 minus x square is equal to sec h square y again derivative of sec h y is same as the oh, sorry sin of radical is same as the sin of sec h y therefore here you take the positive sign this implies sec h y Is equal to root one minus x square number three. Then using three and two, we get the result. Using three and two, we get dy by dx is equal to one upon sec square means one up one upon No. Here, uh, here divide by dx is equal to. Now equation two is one upon sec x square y. So we need sec x square y. We don't need sec x y. So you cancel the equation three. We need only up to this. One minus x square is equal to sec x square y. Sec x square is equal to one minus x square. Therefore, divide by dx is equal to one minus. x square but what is y y is the tan in tan h inverse x therefore ddx of tan h inverse x is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x square so this is the derivative of inverse hyperbolic tan h inverse x 1 upon 1 minus x square similarly you can find the derivative of cot h inverse x cosec h inverse x and sec h inverse x so we stop here thank you